Hello and welcome to Photo Education Online. Today I'm going to show you how to create a custom brush in Photoshop. And the reason you would use this is to add something multiple times in an image. Uh, there's a lot of different uses for it, but what I use it for a lot is adding a logo to uh, an image. Either uh, you can do this as your your studio's logo or maybe your signature, or whatever. I'm going to show you a couple of different ways to do it, and uh, and then we'll try actually using the brush. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with a, uh, a, a logo here. The thing you're going to have to do is get your logo in black and white with the, the, the part you want the stamp to be in black on a white background. And of course this is just a symbol here but uh, you can pretend that it's your logo. Uh, it still works the same. So once you've got the logo in black on white all you're going to do is you're going to go up here to edit, define brush preset, and it's going to pop up right there. You're going to see a little preview of it. And we'll call this uh, Symbol Brush. And there it is. The brush is created. If you go up here, if you switch to Brush, click on your little brush palette here and go to the bottom, there's one we just created. All right, now let's say you want to try something different. Maybe you want to use your uh, your signature uh, as a brush. So let's pull up this uh, empty one that I created. And again, you're just going to get a, a blank piece. Switch to a black brush. Whoops. Switch to a black. Got a black brush here. And I'm going to use the bracket keys to. It's a little bigger. When I'm on the brush tool, I'm going to use the bracket keys to bring my brush size down to oh, about about eight up here about like that okay now what you're gonna do is you're gonna go ahead and do your signature so uh, let's say for example your signature is uh, your name is John Smith you would sign your name John Smith maybe you wanna put 2010 and so there you go so there's your signature with the date same thing you're gonna go to edit Define brush preset, and as long as you've got black on white, you're going to see it right there. John Smith with the date, and we'll call this um, Smith date. Now we've created, uh, let me uh, get out of here, switch back to a regular brush. There we go. All right, now let's go ahead and um, bring up an image. And let's say we've got this image and we want to add our new symbol logo to it. What you're going to do is you're going to switch to the brush tool right here. Go up here, click the little down arrow, and when you go to the very bottom, you're going to see here's our symbol. You click on it, you decide what color you want it to be. Oop, set that to disappear. You come right over here. Let's, let's do it in white. So you can see it's way too big. So I'm going to use those bracket keys. Again, the bracket keys are right above the return key on the right side of the keyboard. And the brackets, you left bracket to make it smaller. So we get it how we want, and then we decide where we want to go and click. And there we go. There's our logo right on the image. Uh, you can go up here. You can change the opacity down and do it at 50%. Just like that. So it's you got a lot of control over exactly how you do it. Let's try the signature one again. Again we hit the down arrow. Here it is, the very last one. Use our bracket keys to drop it down a little bit. And there you go. And so you can stamp it wherever you want on the image and it's a quick way to go through a whole bunch of images and stamp your signature on them. So anyways I hope that helps and uh, be sure to check back later for more tutorials. Thanks a bunch. Bye-bye.